togs <laughs> um, for bootstrap. Okay, tail, outliers, gaps, skew, symmetry, shape. Not necessarily in that order. Okay, this is skewed to the left. Okay, apart from that, that's actually reasonably sym symmetrical here. So maybe that's an outlier. This one here is also skewed to the left because it's actually bigger, the tail's bigger to the left than to the right. This bit of the box is bigger to the left than to the right. So we've got um, S, S, S. So we've said that there's a, there's a bit of a tail this way maybe, or definitely here. What's the O for? Outlier. That there could well be an outlier. Gaps. Well, there's a bit of a gap in the dark between here and here. Um, shape. It's kind of bell curved there, isn't it? Whereas that's actually quite a lot flatter. So that kind of comment's quite good. Symmetry. There's actually quite a lot of symmetry in here. Um, it's really only this point that kind of mucks up the symmetry uh, and skew. So skew's got to do with the tail. So it's actually, this is, uh, this one here is skewed more than that. This is more symmetrical and this one here is a little bit skewed to the left because that box there is wider, longer than that, the one to the right. Let's have a look at the next one. So, hogs. Okay. This here, can you see the length of that compared to the length of that? So that's skewed to the left. Okay. Now we don't have an outlier here, do we? Because they're actually quite evenly spread. But there's a bit of a gap here. A little bit of a gap there. It's interesting. So we've said gap. We've said no obvious outliers. Is that an outlier? Hmm. Maybe. Uh, what's our T for? Tail. So the tail here is to the left, isn't it? Um, skewed to the left. Symmetry. Neither of these are symmetrical. They're both actually skewed to the left. So there's a similarity there. This one's more skewed than, than the second one, the females. So we've done skew, we've done symmetry, and the last S is shape. Uh, and we talked about, oh, that's quite a flat shape. They're both quite flat, aren't they? And these two are quite kind of flat, if you like. Quite different back here where we've got a bit of a bell curve. So it's interesting that they're different shapes. So the whole idea that these are samples from the same population and yet the shapes of these are quite different um, and this one here is quite a flat distribution it's fairly symmetrical this one you can see here there's a bit of a skew to the left so then we can just check uh, okay symmetry fairly symmetrical skewed to the left, so that's a symmetry and a skewed, a shape, they're both fairly flat dis distributions. This one is bimodal, this one has actually got a mode. Um, any gaps? No, not really. Um, go back, tail. Any tail will here. We've got a bit of a tail to that side. We could sort of match it up. Oh, hmm. Might like to look at the values and actually see is this longer than that? So it's only a slight skew. Anyhow, that's the kind of things you've got to look at. And the big idea here is that this and this and this are from the same population 
and they are that bit different, but there's one thing that's the same. The males are actually taller than the females, the medians in each one. So we've got a gap between here and here, and here and here, and here and here. So in each of those three samples, the males are actually taller.